it's Jay, and this is the last episode, episode three, part three of my series where I teach you how to edit yourself into movies and TV shows using CapCut. In the first episode, I showed you an overview of my equipment and how to chroma key. In last week's episode, I taught you how to use keyframing to move your clip to move your subject. And in this episode, I'll be teaching you how to color adjustments, color grading to make it look like you are in the scene. Now, let's get started. You have your clip keyed, you have your clip in place, and now you look out of place. You look like it is edited, which is the whole point. Now we have to use color adjustments to make it look like you're actually there. To make it look like I am a Cullen sitting at the table. When I first started uh, green screen videos, which was four years ago when I started doing my editing series, I didn't use coloring that much. I didn't really know how to. I would just put myself in scenes. Sometimes I did a little bit of editing, but not a lot. Um, and I would get hate comments or negative comments all the time about how pale I looked, how it's obvious, it's just for fun. The title is, I edited myself into whatever. Like it is the point. I am a 22 year old, almost 23 year old filming in my bedroom, doing everything myself. So these movies or TV shows or things that I'm editing myself into are professionally filmed and there's lighting and I'm not physically there. I'm just, again, filming in my bedroom. I have white lighting, like I don't have color, like whatever. So this is the best that I can get to making it look like I'm actually there. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. Sometimes it is blended really good. Sometimes it's not. It's very difficult when you're on like a stage. So if I edit myself into a musical number or something and I'm on a stage, like I'm a performer, it is so difficult because of there's so many flashing lights and like different colors and I am just single lighting, like there's nothing of that. Um, so I try to mimic that with coloring and just, I try my best, all right? It's just for fun. This might be my job. My job is editing, but like this, this is just for fun. What you're going to do is you're going to be going to the video panel, but you're going to scroll until you see adjustments. And here are your options. So you have a basic tab, hue, saturation, and light or brightness, curves, and color wheels. We're going to go to basic and there is an auto adjust, but I don't recommend that because it's not a auto adjusting your clip to the scene. It's just adjusting your clip. Now, as in which one do you use? The basic, the hue saturation, the curves, the color wheels, you can use all of them. There is no set way. I use a combination of everything. And with Twilight, especially the first movie, there is this blue tint and you can see that and you can see the clip of me staring into your soul that I am very saturated and bright and more yellow orangish tones a little bit we'll just mess around here's like the temperature i need to zoom this in though because i cannot see so as you see here's like your yellow blue so i'm gonna like mess around with the blue a little bit most of the time i start off with the brightness i just mess around with things like there's no right or wrong way to do it you're just messing around First of all, I use a cur I use the curves a lot and I will adjust. I use the brightness a lot because people always complain that I'm pale, which yeah, I am. What do you want me to do about it? Yeah, it just sometimes it helps with the brightness of the clip overall, but also my skin tone.
Now, Twilight, this is gonna take a lot of editing. I'm I'm just gonna mess around with things just to show you because this will take me a while. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's a little, that's a little. Very weird. Ooh, okay. I'm very dark right now. What's going on? Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but this just looks scary. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom out for a second. Okay. Obviously, this needs a little bit more of editing, but you get the idea. This is just a lot of messing around with all of the options that you have. And yeah, it is one of the most time consuming things when you're editing yourself into a movie. Um, especially keyframe keyframing and coloring does take time and it also it takes me a while to do this and I'm a perfectionist and you know sometimes I don't match the scene and does it bother me yeah yeah it does but I can't do anything about it because I am just filming in my bedroom and I try to not take it so seriously like I want my video to be good I want this to look good but sometimes when I am in a scene and I just can't really get it like what can you do now that I've taught you how to chroma key keyframe and use color adjustments here is the final product Thank you CapCut for sponsoring this video and this series. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Follow me on all of my social media. Make sure to shop my merch at shopcraigcraigj.com. And I will see you guys next time.